안녕하세요. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> you love. This is my theme song for my videos, and I hope you like it. Hope you like it a lot. All right. So, guys, today is a special day. Why is that? Well, today I'm going to take the time to get to know ARMY a little bit better. And when I say ARMY, I mean the fandom of BTS. ARMY. Ta-da! There is the symbol. Nice and shiny. So to get to know you guys a little better, I'm going to be watching the video This is BTS ARMY Introduction to BTS Fans by the channel X Celeste. So you guys have let me know that she does a lot of really good videos, especially on BTS. And this one is super recent, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what she has to say and learning a lot more about ARMY. Now guys, I might be a potential ARMY myself, but I feel like I haven't known them long enough and I don't know enough of their songs to really be able to say, hey, I'm BTS ARMY. Is there like a requirement? Do I have to like do a certain number of push-ups or pass a test? I don't know, let me know. Now drop some info about when you became ARMY in the comments. Let me know how long you've been ARMY. Let me know what BTS song or show, or maybe it was an interview. Let me know what it was that made you become ARMY and made you stay ARMY. As always, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, and definitely go watch all my other BTS reactions after you finish this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, headphones are in. Video is ready. Let's go. Purple Hub Projects. The BTS Army. BTS Army. Jimmy Fallon. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. A lot of famous Who people. Who is the BTS Army? Army was officially established for BTS on July 9, 2013. Cool. July 9, 2013. So guys, this is going to be the eighth year. In about six months, seven months, it's going to be the eighth year. Um, you guys have let me know a little bit, but give me more info on what goes on on this day, what you guys do to celebrate, what BTS does. I, I, know, I know there's like an army week or something that they release stuff like during this week specifically to celebrate. Um, but let me know. The meaning of a military army Ooh. is implied, tying is in with the concert? name of BTS, which stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, or Song Korean Yundan. for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Now I'm not gonna lie, guys. When I hear this, when I hear bull, bulletproof Boy Scouts, I imagine like a 12-year-old kid, like American Boy Scout, like in the forest with a bulletproof vest. But um, maybe in Korean culture, I don't know. They probably don't have the same picture that I'm thinking of when I think of that. Army is an acronym for Adorable Representative MC for Youth. I had no idea it was an acronym. Now I know given to them in hopes that they will raise their voices and stand with BTS in support of the underrepresented values they mm. often address in their work. Interesting. Armies in its early conception and demographic spoke for the youth walking alongside BTS to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations imposed on adolescents, actively working to defend and preserve the value and ideals of today's youth. That's so interesting, guys, because most bands would not put out a statement like that. Most groups would say, hey, thanks for being our fans. Like we love, you know, we promote love and positivity. But stereotypes, criticisms, I mean, defending and preserving the value and ideals of today's youth for a group to take a burden like that upon themselves. Um, that shows a lot of character. It's really interesting. While what initially draws in new fans may be their talent and their catchy melodies, many grow into dedicated armies due to mm. BTS's core values, missions, and social messages, which have been magnets for the diversity of the fandom. BTS cool. is adamant on their stances against bullying, abuse, and the current socioeconomic norms. They seek to mm. empower youth and women, promoting mental health, self-love and self-development that's super cool they have inspired many fans to better themselves and be active in fighting against social injustices guys if bts has affected your life in a positive way whether you were like suicidal or bullied or whatever it was let me know in the comments like i'd love to hear your stories armies started small but passionate much like bts 
However, one stereotype that incessantly follows the fandom is that of screaming hormonal teenage girls. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I thought. I thought like every other like boy band, it's just gonna be 15 year old girls that think they're super cute, that love them. And turns out that's not the case. While amazing young folks are indeed a part of ARMY, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a young or passionate person, statistics True. prove that BTS reaches far beyond its expected demographics. Take a look at this hmm. age demographic. 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 25% are 40 years old and over. Gayon charts. Here's a graph from Reuters. I would not have guessed that. the web traffic for 2020 Map of the Soul tour tickets. Females hmm. ages 25 and up made up 46% of web traffic, while 31% were males. That makes sense. I mean, usually boy groups have more of a female following, so like it makes sense. But 30% of males, honestly, guys, that is a pretty large number. Like if you were to, if I had to guess when I first heard of BTS, I would have thought 10% or less. Armies hail from different countries, backgrounds, ethnicities, ages, creed, and gender. I think it is important to note that there are passionate fans in almost all disciplines and subcultures, most notably in the sports world. I really? do often That's wonder why it's socially Chiefs. acceptable for boys and men. Okay, I thought there there's like someone on the Kansas City Chiefs that loves BTS, but they're just showing sports fans. To show their undying love and support for something they're fanatic about. Yet, girls and women are so often belittled for their enthusiasm. To help you visualize, take a look at this graph from Research BTS, showing similarities and differences between sport fans and boy band fans. Also, note that older fans often have more disposable income. That helps them afford the band's merchandise and concert tickets, and creates an advertising market for the products the band promotes to older consumers, including Samsung phones mm. and Hyundai cars. Their dedication, passion, and organization has helped us support BTS through a myriad of paths, enabling BTS and armies to achieve mm. incredible results such as getting BTS's single Dynamite to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 yeah, and staying cool. in the top spot for two consecutive weeks. Only 44 songs in the chart's history have debuted at number one and only 20 of those really? songs remained on the top for a second consecutive week. With the success of that. Dynamite, BTS was recognized by the Recording Academy for their music for the first hmm. time, securing them a Grammy nomination for the Best Pop Duo Group Performance, making them the cool. first Korean pop act to ever be nominated under this category. Since then, BTS has achieved three number one debuts on the Billboard Hot 100, with the most Sense recent then? one being no Life Goes On. Unlike their single Dynamite, which was sung in English... Life Goes On, that was the first uh, song I ever heard by BTS. So, that's I guess that'll be a special one for me. Life Goes On was sung in mostly Korean. The day Dynamite dropped, it had a total of 1,700 spins on the US radio, while Life Goes On only had six total spins wow. on US radio. But it still hit number this one, guys. This made debuting Life Goes On at number one even more impressive. Yeah. Not only because of language, but because radio airplay accounts for a large portion of the Hot 100 scores. With crazy. the release of Life Goes On and the new album B, BTS topped multiple charts on its release week. Each achievement on this non-exhaustive list is remarkable in its own right. But the true hmm. marvel of Life Goes On is this. A largely Korean language song debuted at number one wow. on the Billboard Hot 100 with virtually no radio play, no remixes, and no bundles. The song's stratospheric debut offers unimpeachable proof of BTS's popularity and hmm. the dedication of their fans. Together, they have subverted yeah. a Western music industry whose archaic practices are often rooted in racism and xenophobia and redefined what a Korean pop act can achieve on the U.S. charts. 
Now, you guys might disagree with this part. I feel like racism is, is kind of a stretch to say that. Um, I think generally most people just prefer to listen to music that they can understand or watch movies that they can understand. So I think saying racism is, is a little bit of a stretch because there's movies that I just don't watch, not because I'm racist, but because I don't understand the movie. But if it has subtitles, then I'll watch it. But at the same time, you know, I know she's not saying, she's saying rooted. So she's not necessarily calling, you know, oh, if you don't like BTS, you're racist. But I don't know. I think that's what some people could think. Let me know what you think. Army has also helped BTS set historical records. Ooh. Such Guys, I'm wearing a Beatles shirt and they just showed the Beatles. So... I gotta watch this video, Late Show with Stephen Colbert. That that would be cool. Records such as the Beatles' 52-year record, Bee Gees' 42-year record, hmm. Michael Jackson's 36-year record, crazy, guys. Celine Dion's 24-year record, Adele's 5-year record, and more. BTS has sold out multiple stadiums around the world, including two nights at the Wembley Stadium <sighs> in London, That's insane. which holds 90,000 people. Guys, have any of you ever been to one of their shows? If you have, let me know. I'm, I'm sure it has to be crazy. Um, yeah, tell me your story. And the concert sold out in just 90 minutes. 90 minutes for 90,000? Making 90, BTS 000? the 12th wow. artist to ever sell out the legendary Wembley Stadium. Hmm. During a time when streaming numbers have increased and traditional album sales have decreased, yeah. BTS holds the records for the best-selling physical album no of way. the year and the only act to sell over 500,000 copies wow. in the United States. The album Crazy. Map of the Soul 7 has sold over 4 million copies worldwide. Hmm. In 2019, BTS were chosen as endorsement models for Hyundai's Palisade SUV. Hmm. Hyundai estimated sales to be around 25,000, but had already received 52,000 orders That's weeks crazy. after its announcement. And the Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would not buy a car just because the celebrity was in the commercial. Like that would not be my choice. But the it's so crazy that they have so much influence, guys, even like outside of the music um, industry. And that's really cool. The numbers kept growing. The demand for the Palisade skyrocketed so rapidly, Hyundai struggled to keep up with demands and was backlogged wow. by 6 to 10 months. In 2020, BTS endorsed luxury massage chair brand Bodyfriend. Their sales increased no by 46% Guys, do any from of you, the previous year. Do any of you short, have that? Army sell Did any of you buy the car? The members touch. Unsurprisingly, their purchase power goes beyond mm. BTS merchandise. The fandom wow. once sold out fabric, softener, and wine. Crazy. BTS themselves are charitable and are aware of their power and influence. Mm. They have been leading by example. Armies cool. never straying far from BTS's actions have also taken to show their love and support towards all seven of the members, but also mm. towards each other and the world around us. While they sell out stadiums and set and break records in the music industry, wow, they've also nurtured a strong and loving community. On Twitter, crops of accounts unusual within a music fandom have been cultivated, such as BTS Army Medical Union, what? an account made by pre-med medical students and health professional fans who sought to make learning about medical science fun and accessible. Dang, accounts okay. like BTS Army Bar Association, made up of army lawyers who took on the task to educate the fandom about laws and legal systems. Hmm. Army Academy, account providing free tutoring services and advice for young people who need that type of support. Wow. Borahe Entertainment, created for army creative Borahe. artists That's, and I musicians. I purple you, right? Army Help Center, who seek to provide an open ear for those who might need it for the sake of mental health. They created resources wow. within the fandom to help keep organized and informed. There was even a project called the Purple Ribbon Project to help protect the members from getting mobbed while traveling through airports I... around the world. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen a fandom this organized. I mean, I can think of fandoms that I would think maybe are just as passionate, even though I'm probably wrong. 
but to be that passionate and also so organized um, and intentional, like that's amazing. The efforts were seen by the band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with the purple ribbons that were used. Hmm. Not only do we help each other, but we also try to help the world around us. One hmm. of ARMY's main charity fan bases, One in an ARMY, created in 2018, is a collective that acts as a guide in global fundraising initiatives for cool. fans to donate directly to charities. To give you an idea, here's the One in an ARMY's charity summary map wow. from 2019. Guys, I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot, but that's crazy. Like, usually, maybe an artist would come out and say, hey, this is one charity that I really like and support. But all those charities that ARMY is doing, like, on behalf of, just because of their love of BTS, like, think of all these people that are being helped just because of a group in Korea, right? Like, if they never got together, never made these songs, some kid might not have water to drink today. Like, that blows my mind that they're having this much of an impact outside of music. It's really cool. In 2019, more than 370 wow. plus charity projects were created in different countries under so ARMY. Cool. In 2020, when BTS's concert was canceled in mm. South Korea due to COVID-19, fans donated their concert ticket refunds oh. to help with relief and prevention efforts. In good June job, guys. Of if any of you did that, moved good job. by BTS's statement and show of support to the Black Lives Matter movement, armies all over the world who had already been donating to BLM causes mm. band together and matched BTS's one million donation in just one day. Just one day. BTS never fails to talk wow. very highly of Army, and other artists have also added to the praise. The mm. BTS Army. They're some of the most loyal, positive, and fun fans that you could ever dream of. And I just want to say thank you to all of That's them. Cool. Uh, Chimmy Fallon loves you. Are, are... <laughs> At first I was like, why did he say Chimmy Fallon? But that was just like a um, miss. That was just like a mistake on the closed caption. But that's cool. He's doing the, the uh, Borahe thing. Great. They're the most beautiful human beings. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly... BTS seems to really like her. Culture. As these like fangirl crazy like mindless and they're the oh. opposite. They're like intelligent, they're mm. funny, they're tasteful, they're charitable. Like they wanted to say thank you to me for something and they organized something wow. like charitable in my name. That's awesome. And they were like, they were like, what should we do for Halsey to say thank you? Like should we stream her song? Should we this? And they're like, nah, she doesn't care about that stuff. Let's donate to a charity in her name. And they, like organized this whole thing and then like did this like charitable thing wow. for me. And they were like, this is our way of saying thanks Halsey, like thanks. And I was like, that's spectacular. And part of me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing yeah. this? Imagine if everyone's fans thanked them by doing, by organizing charity in their name. So helping cool. others. What a better place this world would be. <laughs> and and I think Army is is just it's just good to people. They see when it's real. And I've been I don't know so who he is. If he's that, famous, let me know. That effort to just be respectful has been taken in such a in such a beautiful way because I know that there have been other instances where people haven't been as respectful, which is unfortunate. And, uh, and, it's, and it's tough to see that because you're like, it's not that hard. Just just be conscious of who mm. you're working with and give love to those who deserve it. But I uh, I feel very grateful that they've been, they've just opened me with welcome arms and it's so good to me. So it's been amazing. And on top of that, they've developed this, this global Where army, this BTS army that is not just like geeked out fans. Like BTS mm. donated a million bucks to Black Lives Matter and the army was like, yo, if they can do it, we can do it. And they came, like a fans wow. who were already coming out of the pocket to support artists came out of pocket more to support charity. And this isn't the first time they've done this. This BTS army charity gives a bunch to philanthropic causes. So as an artist, as a performer, hell man, we have fun. You know, we're doing good stuff. But if we can resonate through the television to you at home to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's work and that's purpose. And that's like, that's, that's changing the world. <laughs> yeah. you know? Like that's impressive. <laughs> that is yeah. impressive. Yeah, it really is. Real quick, who's this lady? She's given what looks like a TED talk. Is she like famous in Korea? Uh, let me know. Okay, 절대로 그러지 않았습니다. 라고 하는 그 무시와 핍박을 정말 셀수 없이 당해야만 했었죠. 그런데 팬들은 절대로 음. 거기에 지지 않았습니다. 어떤 Persistence. 무시와 편견이 닥치더라도 끝까지 왜 
이들의 음악은 정말 훌륭하기 때문에 사람들에게 사람들을 음. 변화시킬 수 있는 힘이 있기 때문에 널리 전파해야만 한다라는 뭔가 역사적 사명 같은 걸 가지고 있었던 거예요. I hope that this video has given you valuable insight that armies value positivity and kindness while actively fighting against prejudice just as BTS does. So despite constant mm, pushback from the music heart. industry, the media and other fandoms often being discredited, bullied and stereotyped, BTS and ARMY continue to lift each other up. To learn more about BTS, their personalities and more, please refer to these websites, apps and ARMY accounts to cool. stay tuned. If you'd like to learn more about them through my videos, check out This is BTS, BTS's contribution to music, and BTS. I gotta watch these guys, right? Let me know the which Purple one to watch Hub first. The is also still working on future projects such as a website and more informational videos. Stay tuned. Wow, guys, that was really cool. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, first reaction, like. I'm super impressed. I'm super, super impressed um, by ARMY and their fandom. And I'm not going to ask you traditional questions like what should I react to next. What I really want to know is your BTS ARMY stories. Let me know why you became ARMY. Let me know how it's changed your life. Let me know if other ARMY have reached out to you and how it's impacted you or if you gave to charity or any of that stuff. Because music is great and saying, hey, I love this song, like that's awesome. But when it touches you deeply and impacts you to do something to make the world a better place, like that's next level stuff. Honestly, that's probably the most impressive thing about BTS to me is that they're inspiring people at this level to make change way outside of music, to help the person next to them, to encourage one another. So let me know your ARMY stories, guys. Not only that, but guys, if you need help with anything, if you're ARMY and you feel like I'm lost in the shuffle, I need help from other ARMY, put that in the comments too. I'm sure there's other ARMY here that would love to help you. So having said all that, guys, please like, please comment, please subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for introducing me to BTS and coming along this journey with me. Thanks so much for sticking around. Check out my other videos and I will see you guys next time.